let's not leave consumers behind. Let's work with them into this technology, the digital technology. Win-win has to include consumers. We can't rely on regulation staying ahead of the risk. And that's where um, consumer advocates elevating the voice of consumers is the best way to stay on top of what's happening day to day because it's evolving so quickly. We think the best way to do this is to engage with and understand the financial consumer, either through research that we do directly or through consumer or through engaging with consumer advocacy organizations that can help us. By coming together, we will have a, a global impact, you know, not just not locally, but, um, it, you know, the whole world. A group like yours is not just a global voice group. It's also a community of practice for your day-to-day -day challenges. And I think where Consumers International can come in is in actually bringing all of that together. So bringing together consumer advocates from around the world and with businesses, with regulators to actually talk about how we ensure that as these new products emerge, they actually operate in a way that's, that's fair for consumers. Uh, I really hope after this week, after hearing all the priorities, after hearing all the ideas, we are committed to put more, much more resources in driving this agenda because it is so important for global consumers. We believe that measures that reduce information asymmetry and bring transparency have the potential to empower consumers to make better choice. We are doing efforts to include such topics right from the school education because that's where uh, a child needs to learn about all the um, financial transactions that you're going to do in future as a consumer. From your perspective, from the consumer advocacy community, how, how, what other channels do we need to use to make consumers more aware and what do we need to be aware of while making them aware from a consumer's rights perspective? We'd like you to stay in contact with us so that together we can ensure a digital financial services sector and a digital marketplace that's inclusive, that's safe, that's data protected and private, and that's sustainable for all of us.